What's up everyone, back with another episode of some live video game hunting. No road trips this time, just a proper old school. Hit as many charity shops as we can locally in about a three hour window that we have to hunt today. So let's get straight out there, let's see what we can get and hopefully we can pick up some nice bits. Okay, so I'm not going to show everything I picked up in swords. I'm in a bit of a rush today. I have something close by to home that I need to do at about three o'clock. So I'm just trying to hit as many charity shops as I can. So I kind of glanced over everything I picked up. This is the find of the day. This is the find of the year, I think. Loads of toys today. I don't normally go looking for toys on the channel. It's something that I kind of keep an eye out for because I want to pick up stuff that I had from my childhood. Like this, I don't think it's an, it's an ATST, I think. This was like three euro. And it's fairly complete, like it's missing like a top cover and stuff like that. Now I'm no expert on toys, but even the like walking function stuff still works. So I think three euro is an absolute bargain for that. And then when I was walking out, I didn't really get them on camera. 
just when I was walking out of the shop after paying for that, I seen a little box of figures on the shelf. They were like 150 each. I had to sift through them. I didn't even think to get the GoPro because I was so excited because I actually seen some original 1984 Ghostbuster figures. These are the things that I spent hours and hours playing with when I was a kid. I've been keeping an eye out for these ever since I started doing the charity shop hunting and this is the first time I've ever actually seen them. So I was so happy to pick these up. His little head and all still pops up. So there's two 1984, one of them is 1987, and then a couple of 90s Batman figures and a Power Ranger and stuff like that. But we're going to keep moving, try and hit as many more charity shops as we can before the end of the day, and then we'll just go through everything when we get back to the game room. But some class little pickups there already. So I'm just jumping in here really quickly to remind you that we have a massive giveaway coming soon. When we get to 1,000 subscribers, we're going to be giving one lucky person a massive box of games. We've got some classics like Mortal Kombat on the SNES, Mario Kart 64 and a load of top titles for the PS2, Xbox 360 and a few other nice bits and pieces as well. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Please check to make sure you're subscribed to the channel because over half the people that watch the videos actually aren't. And you'll have to be subscribed to be a mature chance to win. But I just want to take a moment to thank everybody that subscribed to the channel so far. Your support means so much to me and we're so close to that 1000 goal. So let's try and get it over the line in the next few weeks and let's give a massive box of games away to someone. Anyway, back to the hunt. All right, so I'm parked up in our town outside the Jack and Jill. Starting to get a bit tight for time, so we're just going to lash these last three charity shops out of it. And if we do find anything, we'll have a look at everything back in the game room when we get back. Just stopped in traffic here and I realized the whole reason I even went out today was I needed to buy a new toilet seat and I've done nothing but game hunting and now I only have time to either go to one more charity shop or do the responsible thing that I was supposed to do in the first place and go get the toilet seat. What would you do? All right we're walking into the last charity shop now let's hopefully find some games.
All right, so end of the day with a little pile of games. Nothing too crazy to talk about here. Probably should have went and got the toilet seat. But however, there's some good traders here. A few bits that will pop into the collection. And I grabbed the FIFA 10. We'll talk about this. There's a specific reason for this, but we'll talk about it and all the other stuff that we picked up when we get back to the game room. Okay, so we're back in the game room. Time to go through everything we picked up. But we can only start in one place. That first shop today. I go there probably every time I'm in Swords. I just pop into the two shops. I think once I picked up a couple of games, on another occasion I picked up a nice pile of PS2 games. And bar the odd little Funko Pop or something like that, I never really find anything in there, but it's so handy. It's only a couple of minutes walk away from where I park in Swords, so I always pop in for a look, but my God, today the payoff. You've already seen the Star Wars ATST, whatever it's called. I'll put details exactly what it is up here. I'll probably show a few eBay sales and stuff like that. But that was in really nice condition. Not necessarily an overly expensive piece. I did mention in the car that it was one of my best finds of the year. But I just meant in terms of how rare to come across old toys and charity shops when they haven't been picked over. Let alone something massive like that. So such a cool thing to see. Something that I did have as a kid. Probably a little bit before my time. But my older brothers had all the Star Wars stuff growing up. We used to play with it all. So just picking it up just brought back so many memories. It was class to find. So I think we'll put it up here somewhere with our little Star Wars display here so yeah i thought that was it for that stop had a good look around couldn't see anything else paid the three euro for it and when i was walking out the door there was a little box on the counter just as you walk out the door i'll very quickly throw in a bit of footage here where i just scan through what was left and by the time i picked through it let me know if i left anything behind i kind of knew a few of the things i was looking at there but i would have spent all day looking through that box i would have ended up buying absolutely everything and it was around 150 a figure so i didn't want to be buying too many but i did pick up six so very quickly just go through these three did get an original 1993 Red Power Ranger. You know I'm a Power Rangers fan. I've got a few of the Power Ranger movie figures scattered around the game room. But that's a nice little one to throw along there. And then picked up these two Batman. All of this stuff is official, by the way. This Power Ranger is Bandai 93 on it, made in China. And then these two Batman are 1993 DC Comics. So these are original as well. So I just thought he's really cool and like his purple there. And then this fella. You can tell I don't know how much about toys, but when I see something that I like, I just pick them up. 150 each. I'm sure they're worth a few quid because they are original figures from back in the day. We'll find nice little spots around the game room for them. But these three, this... I said that the Star Trek... Or Star Trek, do you hear me? I said the Star Wars thing was probably one of my best pickups of the year. But I think these three figures are probably the favourite thing I've picked up probably in a long, long time. We all have these different things that we're nostalgic for. I mentioned very early in the channel that part of the adventure I wanted to go on here was buying back my childhood. The idea of going game hunting was originally to pick up games that I could flip or trade and use that money to buy back sort of old SNES cards, N64 cards, stuff like that that I played religiously growing up. But as the channel's gone, the collection has just grown and grown and grown. I became a bit of a game hoarder, as you can see. So anything that I didn't have, I've just kept. But we're still finding plenty of stuff, especially now that the collection's starting to build up a bit, that we can kind of bring up and get trade credit for. I've mentioned over a few episodes now, I do still have a big IKEA bag of trade that has to go up to CX. I'm kind of waiting for a little dry video to go up and bring all that up. Not sure whether I'm going to get games with it. Might get a couple of consoles that I've been chasing for the game room because I have a little corner there that needs to be finished before I can do the game room tour. So we will get up there eventually and get that sorted and get the game room tour done. But these three figures here, when I seen them, I snapped them up straight away. This proper brought me back to my childhood. The toys that I played with the most. I mean, I had Power Rangers when I was maybe 10, 11 Power Rangers were a thing. Before that, I had a lot of turtles, played with lots of turtles. But the one thing that I remember growing up, I still have photographs and that. I'll have a look and see if I can find them, maybe throw them up here, but photographs of me opening up Christmas presents on Christmas morning, but my main thing was Ghostbuster figures, and when I seen these, I could not believe it. As I said, these were 150 each. These are, obviously it's Peter and Winston, but these are original, it says it on the back, 1984 Columbia Pictures, so these are obviously Ghostbusters, the newbie figures, but I remember having these ones, and just picking them up, just... It's hard to describe. I'm sure most people watching this channel watch it because they enjoy sort of nostalgia, taking them back to their childhood. But this is the sort of thing that really takes me back. Just the feel of the figures and everything. I just, I couldn't believe I got them. I'm so happy. So these are going to take pride and place in the collection. But really class little figures. And then I think I had this one as well. This little Egon with the sticky outy head. He's 1987 Columbia picture. So I'm guessing Ghostbusters 2. But really class to have those figures. These Ghostbuster things are something I'm really nostalgic for. So something I'm really going to start pushing now. I must start actually going to a couple of... Anytime there's been like a game convention on or 
you know, like a Comic Con thing or something like that here. I've always been stuck in work, so I really need to try and get to some of those. Actually, speaking of game conventions, I have something to talk about later on, so I'll have to remember to mention that before I finish the video. But yeah, just absolutely class for a stop. Made the whole day worth it just to pick these three figures up. Okay, so moving on to stop number two, the different types of pickups continued. Did get a few games in there, but I seen these WrestleMania souvenir cups and I had to pick them up. They were only a euro each. These are from WrestleMania XXV 111, so WrestleMania 28. This one is 2013, so it would have been the one after, so WrestleMania 29. And then this one I think is WrestleMania 20v1, so 26. This one unfortunately has a little bit of damage, I didn't really notice it when I was picking it up. But I just thought these were really cool, and I've looked them up since, and some of them seems to go for about 25, 30 euros, so I don't know whether we'll keep them. I have mentioned before that I prefer to collect sort of the older WWF style stuff, but I do kind of have a few bits from the WWE era. I have actually been to a WrestleMania, I think I mentioned it before, I went to WrestleMania 35 in New Orleans. Was it 35 or 34? I can't remember now. And the only real souvenir I have from that was a couple of t-shirts and stuff that we picked up at Access was like the official program, so... I don't know. I don't know whether we'll hold on to these and use them for something in the game room, or maybe we might find someone that wants them and flip them or swap them for some games or something like that. And then moving on to the games, just picked these three up. They were two fifty each, but they were in nice condition and complete, so I grabbed them. Got this one called Brink. Never heard of it. I've no idea if it's any good. It's probably only worth about a euro or two. We probably even overpay for it, but it's a three sixty game that we don't have, and it's becoming rarer and rarer to find games that I don't have in the charity shops lately. So just grab that for the collection. Grabbed a copy of, now this is a classic unfortunately, but it's just a Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon, but it's for the OG Xbox. OG Xbox stuff, I just, I never see anywhere at all. So anytime I see it, and it's, you know, coming in around less than three euros, I'm gonna pick it up. But this is nice, complete, with a really nice manual in it. And then another Ghost Recon game, but this is Island Thunder. Haven't seen this one before. Another one for the original Xbox, so a nice one for the collection, and that is also fully complete as well. But yeah, we went on from there, we shot down to the Jack and Jill, didn't see anything in Jack and Jill. They had sort of Legos and stuff like that, I think I talked about it in the car. Moved on then to Vincent's in Kulak. Had a few games in there, didn't pick any up, but they did have some really cool big box Amiga games. Now, I don't know anything about big box Amiga stuff. I sort of panned over them in the video, I'll maybe just show a little clip here again of the three or four games that were down there. Really cool looking, like Gremlins 2 was class, but they were looking for 20 euro each for them. I couldn't justify paying that for them, and I don't know anything about them. So if I missed out on a bargain, let me know. Maybe I'll zip back down, maybe they'll still have them. I doubt it. I'd say someone will probably pick them up, or they'll eventually reduce them, and someone will get them for a price they want to get them for. But just really cool to see that old skilled big box Amiga stuff in the window. But from there, we just shot down to the last stop, and then just picked up this little pile of games that I've left way too far off camera, so I'm gonna grab them and be back in a second. <laughs> So yeah, I got six games out of that last stop. I was kind of flicking through. You'd have seen me sort of having a look in these fours of fours. The reason I paid so much attention to them is because they actually do pray, they do trade pretty well. I'm actually gonna scan them just here. I didn't do it in the shop because I've, I'm pretty sure I have one in the trade pile that I've checked recently enough. Um, when the price that, what, two euro each, I'm pretty sure that I'm gonna make a few quid on them. But they, one of them, they're like a two disc game. One of them had the two discs in it in really nice condition. The other one had one disc in, it was missing the other disc, but when I was flicking through some of the other games, there was a Formula One, I don't know, it was a 2013 or something like that, that was on the shelf there, and I actually had the second disc that was missing from this one. So when I was bringing the pile up, I just brought them all up to the counter, just showed the guy up there that the second disc for the fours was actually in the Formula One game, and that would just be an empty case, so it was okay to just, because I don't like, you never know when someone might be watching you, I don't like to be switching discs around in case you think you're pulling a fast one. but. Match them up, so that was no problem at all. I'm just gonna do a quick scan of this Forza here, just to confirm before I say that loud and make a show myself. But yeah, they trade for five euro each. So we spent 10 euro on the pile. We already have Forza 4. We're gonna bring two of them in, get our tenner back, and probably keep two of these for the collection. The other two I think we have, we'll get even more trade credit for. But the other bits that we picked up was a Call of Duty World at War. Not really sure why I picked this one up. I think it was two euro. It trades for about two euro, but it just had a perfect this perfect manual in it. So I always kind of pick these up when I know I can get my money back in trade and possibly upgrade a copy that I have. So there you go. Just grabbed it for the sake of it. I leave that one to the end. Another one that I picked up. This was actually a bit of a mistake. It was Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Now I think I actually you know what? it wasn't a mistake because I don't have it. 
So it's a game we're going to get to keep for the collection. I thought I was picking it up to trade, but it only goes for like 150 in trade credit, so I thought I'd lost it. So both discs are in there. And actually, I think it is a two disc. Yeah, there's one, there's two. Oh, and there's a bonus disc in the back of it. There is a loose disc copy of the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. So I'm pretty sure I do have Elder Scrolls. I do, yeah. So that's another one that we'll put into the sort of loose disc collection and maybe complete and trade, although mm, it's not the best disc. So I don't know. If you're after a loose copy of Elder Scrolls V and you want to take a chance on that, I think it'll play. I don't think there's anything... I can't feel anything too deep on it. I think it's just from being played. So give us a shout if you want it and I'll bang it out to you. Otherwise, I'll just go into the folder show you all the loose disc waiting to be reunited with a case one day. Grab this copy of SmackDown vs. Raw 2009. I don't know if I have this one or not. I actually don't. I've only got one WWE game. Oh, actually, I've got 2011. This is 2009, and I've got 2K14. So the SmackDown vs. Raw games are a bit of crack, and they're actually worth a few quid. I think this one I looked and it was trading in for about 8 euro or something like that, but we don't have it, so we're going to keep it. And then I ended up picking up a copy of Shock Horror. FIFA 10 for the PS3. Now there's a method to my madness on this. I got, I have the, I've mentioned before about the Discord. I don't know if anyone even knows how to use Discord. It was completely new to me when I set it up. But it's just a free community that I set up. Really cool people in there that chat away, sort of do little deals for games with each other. Talk about pickups and stuff like that. But one of the chaps in there was looking to see if anyone had any old copies of FIFA. And it kind of got me thinking, what have I got lying around here? Maybe I can send them something. And when I had a look in the shelves, I realised I actually have very few FIFA games because most of them, when I find them, I just leave them behind. I think he's trying to get like a little FIFA collection going. So it kind of got me thinking, we all joke about seeing nothing but FIFAs in charity shops and we do see them all the time and we do see them cheap. But I started thinking how easy or how difficult it would actually be to get a complete FIFA collection. So I decided that I'm going to start a little sub-series People have only seen me pick up FIFAs all the time on this channel. You see them every day in your own hunts and charity shops and stuff like that. So I'm going to do a little side series and I'll try and post. I've been trying to find ways to get a video out every week. I don't get anywhere near enough time to go out hunting to be putting a hunting video out every week. So this kind of gives me a way to get like an extra video out there. If it's not every week, maybe every second week, we can put like a little bonus video out. So we're going to do this little side series. I think I'm going to call it Mission FIFA. I didn't know what to call it, Finding FIFA or the FIFA hunt, but... Mission FIFA is the working title we're going with for now. By the time the first video drops, you'll have seen what we settled on anyway. But actually I have a little board here I'm going to show you and kind of talk about what way I want the series to go and what some of my ideas are for it. So just bear with me for one second and I'll grab that. Okay, so this is my, apparently it's officially called Mission FIFA because that's what I put on the whiteboard. But this is my little whiteboard here. So the plan is that I am going to start looking for FIFA games when I'm out hunting. The rules around that are I'm not going to spend more than two euro on the game. It has to be complete with a manual and the disc has to be in really nice condition. So that's basically the general idea for picking up you know, the commonplace FIFAs that you see all the time. We're going to see how quick we can get a collection of them together. We might even get two. I might keep one for the collection. I might do something nice with the other collection, but we'll wait and see. But on this side of the board here, this is what you would probably call the price of your FIFAs. I don't know if you'd be able to read this or not. I'm left-handed, so trying to write this out without smudging the whole thing was an absolute nightmare. So I might do it back out before the main series or not, or else I might just do a separate zoom in on this so you can see it. But I did a breakdown, I did a full list of the sort of older FIFAs back from the very first release right up to FIFA 2000 and a list of all the different consoles that they came from. Now I'm not going to try and pick up every single copy of these and these are just the kind of a basic, probably the consoles we have a better chance of finding them on. Like some of these came out for, I don't know, crazy systems like Jaguar or whatever else, I don't know. If you look them up on Wikipedia, the amount of systems they came out on for it was absolutely crazy. And obviously they come out on Windows and stuff like that as well, but we're not going to go into looking for them. So these are kind of like bonus ones that if we can get them along the way, we will. But these are a list of probably common enough FIFAs. You know, we've got Street, we've got 11 up to 23. Uh, I've got a list of, I probably should have put what they trade for on here, but these are the actual sale prices in CEX for them. So if you find most of these, probably a handy little reference for you. I'll do a closer look at it when I actually launch the series so people can maybe just... I don't know, freeze frame it, take a picture for reference. But these are, as of, what date are we today? As of 4th of July. <laughs> these are the current sale prices in CX for these FIFA. So some of them are actually pretty expensive. Now I did know there were a few that were well worth keeping an eye out for. So 
I think the likes of these and maybe some of these older ones are definitely going to slow up how quick we can actually get the whole collection together. But I just thought it might be interesting. Maybe people aren't interested in FIFA's at all, but if you're like me and you enjoyed your football growing up with video games, as much stick as we actually give the FIFA's because they're not worth it in charity shops, I probably put hours and hours of my life into it. I'm sure you used it as well, having tournaments with your mates and all that. Like So I'm going to show the FIFA some appreciation. We're going to save a few of them from the charity shop skip and we're going to try and get a nice little collection together. So probably try and get a video out in the next week or two in that series. So if you're interested, keep an eye out for that. So yeah, that's all the pickups for this one. I think I've done all my chit chat. Oh, I did mention earlier on actually about a game in the market I wanted to talk about. Very quickly, I'll do a separate video on this because I want to go in depth. I want to make sure I get all the details correct. I want to make sure people have all the right links and stuff to go to, to get tickets for this event. But there is finally an exclusive Irish game and market event coming to Ireland and it's coming on the 5th of November. So save the date, the 5th of November. As I said, I'll put a video out with some more details soon, but it's an event I can't wait for. I know there's been little Comic Cons and stuff that I mentioned earlier on that have different vendor booths and stuff like that, but this is going to be exclusively so the game vendors, game related stuff. So I can't wait to get there. I can't wait to meet so many people in the community. Can't wait to pick up a few games and we'll probably end up getting some of those rarer mission. They call it Mission FIFA? I think it's going to be officially Mission FIFA because that's what I keep preferring to. But it'll be a great way to kind of build up that FIFA collection between now and then. And maybe somewhere like that is where we pick up some of those harder to find titles to try and complete that collection. So yeah, keep an eye out for a little video about that. I think if you just search Irish Game and Market, you can probably find a bit of information about it now. But I will post a video in the next couple of weeks with full on details about that. So keep an eye out for that because that's not something you're going to want to miss. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thanks again for sticking to the end. Thanks for subscribing to the channel once again. We're so close to that 1000. Just have a double check, make sure you're subscribed because you never know you could be watching these videos and you're not subscribed. Hitting that really helps the channel out. Getting the subscribers in there is gonna get this big giveaway over the line. But yeah, we'll leave it at that. Thanks again and we'll see you again soon. Cheers. Class.